I've wanted to make this video for a very long time. A few years ago, I was able to go to the Dominican Republic and sail on this ship to go swim with humpback whales. Humpback whales are amazing and the trip was amazing, but one of the most incredible parts of the trip was listening to humpback whales and learning about humpback whale song. Now, there are a couple of things I didn't know, and maybe you know, but I found out that uh, songs are only sung by the males, and they're to woo females to mate. And then I also found out that all males in one area sing the same song. So whales in the Silver Bank or in Hawaii sing the same song with different variations. And a whale can sing anywhere from a five-minute song to a 30-minute song and for hours or even days. This clip is a 12-minute clip from the Silver Bank in 2015. What I did was I took the song from the from a GoPro and put it into a program called Logic. And Logic is just like a music um, uh, DAW. And was able to play just the audio of the whale. So here's just the whale song from the GoPro. Uh. And it goes from um, uh, zero to about 12 minutes. And then the last little bit, or 11 and a half, the last little bit wasn't any good because some boat noise. So this is the this is the original audio. And what I did from there is I cut it up into individual sounds. And that's what this layer is. And also took out some of the water and ocean noise. So it ended up sounding like this. And after that, after I'd cut it up, I'm gonna mute these two. After I'd cut it up, I was able to isolate individual sounds and then put them on their own tracks. So on the left here is just the name that I named the sound. Um, and each track is just that sound. So the first part of the song is one sort of sequence of sounds. And then the second part, which is this part, is another set. And then this part is another set. And then there's a fourth set. And you can see the first and the fourth set of sounds, I didn't get what what came before, what came after. So I'm assuming they were just about as long as the second sequence and the third sequence, but I don't know. So the first sequence is very interesting. It has, it has four sounds. This is the first sound, the second sound, third, and fourth. And then it repeats that almost exactly. And it does it five times total that I caught. And then it changes to the second set of sounds. And it sort of, it starts with this one, this sort of a whine. then it repeats. And then it does that a number of times before going to the third set of sounds, which is right here. Here it is. That was just the camera moving around. And then this one repeats. So this keeps repeating for a while until the fourth section. Which starts now. Mm -hmm. 
and that repeats until the audio gets bad. So we have four sections here, and I, I there are a couple things that I found really interesting. This sound, uh, number one, this sound, that sort of foghorn sound is consistent throughout the piece. Um, it turns into this sound, but it's almost the same sound. It's just a tiny bit higher in pitch. And it's a little bit shorter. So you can see this piece of audio is a little bit shorter. This is a little bit shorter than the first five. And then these, the, the lower pitched ones, um, continue throughout the whole piece. So I found that to be really, really interesting. I also found it interesting in this second section, there's, um, there's this repetition of four sounds. So the first section has four sounds, one, two, three, four, and then it repeats one, two, three, four, if this is the first sound, it, it might not be, but, uh, but there are four sounds that then repeat. And then the next section we have, let's say this is our first sound. So we have one, two, three, four, then it repeats one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then it repeats again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it sort of repeats again. So it's seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so I'm sort of skipping around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here is when it goes to not uh, goes to ten. So this one right before it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, before it starts again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, before it starts again. So that's really interesting. It goes from four to seven to ten, and then it uh, changes. So when we first hear this section, it starts, I would say, with this sound. That's our first new sound. Here's, here's listening. Mm -hmm. So that's our first new sound, and then it ends though with this sound before changing to the new section. And then we have this really interesting um, section with a bunch of interesting sounds, and this has one, two, three, four that just repeat. So there are four, that was a camera noise again, uh, there are four repeating parts to this until it changes to the end to this section. And there are five of those repetitions on all of these tracks, or all, all of these pieces of audio. And then it gives this weird sound at the end, which I don't think is the camera. So we have this sound. That one random sound. The other thing I found really interesting is if I show you, um, I took the this audio, this uh, this comp file, and I put it into a program called Melodyne. And Melodyne is basically like a pitch mapping program. It's used a lot for tuning vocals um, in songs, but I used it for this because it can um, it can capture lots of different sounds. So. The one thing I thought was really, really interesting is this tone that's, um, that is that drone is very consistent throughout the whole piece. And it's on a C, which I think is also really interesting. And this one, when I transferred the audio into this program, it picked up two pitches. So when you listen to it, I don't hear two pitches, um, per se, I just hear one pitch that's resonant, but when I put it into this program, it picked up two pitches. So I think that's really interesting. One thing I also 
was really fascinated with is it's very consistent. Like the pitches themselves are very consistent. The timing is very consistent. When I cut it all up, I wasn't doing very much editing in terms of spacing and it's very even when it comes to spacing. So I found those two things to be really, really interesting. So anyway, so that's what I sort of discovered. Um, here is listening to it while it's playing in Melodyne. You can sort of see it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you notice anything that I missed, I would love to hear it.